Good morning, year two. So today you are going to be doing some comprehension. And comprehension means that you're going to read a text and then you're going to answer some questions. So the text that you are going to be reading today is how to look after a cat. Now, this is a non-fiction text, which means that it includes information and facts. And facts are things that are true. Okay, so I'm going to read the text to you. So get comfortable and sit back and relax. So taking care of a cat. Cats are usually gentle and quiet pets. They love to play with toys and bits of string. Cats enjoy being stroked as long as you are gentle. It is important to take special care of them. What does a cat look like? So cats are small animals that have a long tail to help them to balance. They also have whiskers that help them to measure how big or small a gap is. So long tail to help them balance, whiskers to measure spaces, pads on their paws to protect their feet, claws to help them grip. What does a cat need? Cats need the same as all animals. They require food and fresh water every day. It is also important that they have somewhere safe and cozy to sleep. Cats love to play, so it is great if they have a toy to chase. What are baby cats called? So baby cats are called kittens and there are usually between two and five born to a mother. When they are small, they drink milk from their mother. For the first few weeks, a baby's kitten's eyes are closed and they cannot usually see until they are two weeks old. What should you do if your cat is ill or injured? And injured means if the cat is hurt. So if your cat or kitten is ill or injured, then it is best to take them to the vet the vet will be able to work out what is wrong and give the cat the correct treatment to make them better. So I have got some top tips to help you with um, answering your questions today. So the first one is write the number in the margin of your home learning book. Number two is read the question carefully. Number three is don't guess the answer, read the text carefully and find the answer in the text. And number four, you can write in sentences or give shorter answers depending on the question. So let's look at the first question together. How do cats like to be stroked? So I'm going to look in the first section and it says, cats are usually gentle and quiet pets. They love to play with toys and bits of string. Cats enjoy being stroked as long as you are gentle. Ah, so that's telling me that cats like to be stroked um, gently. So I would write my answer as cats like to be stroked gently. So question two, why do cats have a long tail? OK, so it says um, cats are small animals that have a long tail to help them to balance. Ah, so they have a long tail to help them to balance. And that's exactly what I have written. Cats have long tails to help them balance. So question three, how would a cat decide if a gap was big enough for it to get through? So it says on here that they have also have whiskers that help them to measure how big or small a gap is. So how clever is that? So my answer would be cats use their whiskers to measure if a gap is big enough to get through. Question four. Now this one says find and copy one word, which means write. So the answer that we write down will just be one word. Now, if we look at the last sentence, it says the vet will be able to work out what is wrong and give the cat the correct treatment to make them better. So the word there that means the same as right is correct. Let's look at number five. Who can determine what is wrong with a cat? OK, so I'm going to look at the section there that says, what should you do if your cat is ill or injured? And it says the vet will be able to work out what is wrong and give the cat the correct treatment. So my answer for that would be the vet. Now, question says, how do you think a kitten would find things before it can see? Now, this is a how do you think question. You won't necessarily find the answer in the text, but you can use the text to help you. OK, so I'm going to think about the kitten's other senses. It says that it can't um, that it can't see, um, but it, but it would be able to smell. So I think um, that the kitten will be able to find things using its sense of smell. And I put their smell.
Um, now questions 7a and 7b is slightly different and these are you've got to tick an answer or you can write the answer in your home learning book. So cats are born with their eyes open. Okay is it true or is it false? Okay um, and it says here for the first few weeks a baby's kitten's eyes are closed so that would be false. And then 7b says what might a vet use to make a poorly cat better? Now again the answer isn't in the text, but you can look at the answers and you can use them to help you work it out. So it says, is it sweets, medicine or food? So a vet would give a kitten some medicine to help it make it feel better. Now question eight, you have got to um, draw a line to match each of um, the words. So it says, draw a line to match the word to its meaning. So a paw, is it a baby cat? Is it an animal foot or is it an animal doctor? If you'd like to tell your adult at home or tell yourself, yes, of course, it is a paw. Okay, um, a vet. Is it a baby cat, an animal foot or an animal doctor? Get ready to shout the answer out. One, two, three. Yes, a vet is an animal doctor. And the last one is a kitten. Again, if you want to whisper to yourself what the answer is, brilliant, it is a baby cat. Now, question nine says, what do cats need? You're going to have to tick two of them. OK, so just remember, it's only two of them. Do they need walking? Do they need milk? Do they need a cage? Do they need food? Now, if you look at the text below, it says that they require food and fresh water. So I'm going to tick food. Now, water isn't on there, but in the next paragraph, it says that they drink milk from their mother. So I would tick milk. Now, question 10 is we have to say um, whether these um, statements are true or false. So put ticks in the box to show which statement or sentences are true and which are false. So cats do not make lovely pets. So what I'm gonna get you to do is I'm gonna get you to pause the video and have a look through, read the text and see if you think that is true or false. So would you like to pause the video? Brilliant, so hopefully you would have said that it is false, okay because actually cats do make lovely pets. And um, the next um, sentence is kittens drink their mum's milk. Again, if you pause the video, have a look at the text and you can decide whether that's true or false. Right, well done, that is true. Kittens do drink their mum's milk. And the last one says cats have whiskers. Again, is that true or false? Okay, one, two, three, can you shout your answer out to me? Brilliant, it is true. Okay, now it's your turn to answer the questions um, in your home learning book. So good luck with that. Remember the top tips. Remember to read the question carefully, to number your answers, um, and to um, you can write in sentences or you can um, just write one or two words if it's a shorter answer. Now, if you want to challenge yourself today, I thought what you could do is you could look at the text again and you could write your own questions about the text. OK, but remember, if you're writing your own questions to use a question mark at the end. OK, so good luck with your work today, everyone. And don't forget to post it on um, Seesaw. Ask your parents to post it on Seesaw. And I'm going to say bye.